Did you know that some people in the U.S. pay only 10% in taxes, while others have to pay up to 37% of their income as taxes? Depending on where you live and work, you may face different types of taxes and different levels of taxation. But what are the reasons behind these differences? And how can you benefit from it? First of all, we need to know the difference between federal taxes and state taxes. Federal taxes versus state taxes. In a nutshell, federal taxes are the taxes that the national government collects from everyone in the country. State taxes are the taxes that each state government collects from its own residents. The rules and rates for federal taxes are the same for everyone, but the rules and rates for state taxes vary depending on where you live and many other factors. Before we continue, don't forget to like and subscribe. Reasons for state tax variation. But why do states have various tax rates? Well, there are several reasons for this, but here are the most common ones. Different spending needs and priorities. Each state has its own budget and expenses that it needs to cover with its tax revenue. For instance, multiple states spend more on education, healthcare, infrastructure, or public safety than others. A number of states also have more debt or pension obligations than others. Depending on how much money they need and how they want to spend it, states may choose to raise or lower their taxes accordingly. For instance, Vermont spends a lot on education and health care because it values quality public services and has an aging population. Vermont also has a high income tax rate to pay for its spending. On the other hand, Idaho spends less on education and health care because it has a smaller population and a lower cost of living. Idaho also has a low income tax rate to attract businesses and workers. Different economic conditions and characteristics. Every state has its own economy and population, which affect its tax base and revenue potential. For example, some states have more natural resources, tourism, or industries than others. Multiple states have more wealthy or poor residents than others. Depending on how strong or weak their economy is, and how diverse or homogeneous their population is, states may choose to tax different sources of income or consumption differently. Namely, Alaska has abundant natural resources, especially oil and gas, which provide most of its tax revenue. That's why Alaska is one of the nine states that does not impose any income tax on its residents. On the other hand, Hawaii relies heavily on tourism as its main source of income. That's why Hawaii has one of the highest sales tax rates in the country, at 10.25%, for Oahu Island to make money from its visitors. Different political ideologies and preferences, all the states have their own political culture and values that influence their tax policy choices. To give you an idea, multiple states are more conservative or liberal than others. Various states favor smaller or bigger governments than others. Depending on how they view the role of taxation in society and the economy, states may choose to adopt more progressive or regressive tax systems. A progressive tax system is one that taxes higher income earners more than lower income earners, while a regressive tax system is one that taxes lower income earners more than higher income earners. In particular, California is known for being a liberal state that supports big government programs. That's why California has one of the most progressive income tax systems in the country, with a top rate of 13.3% for incomes over $1 million. On the other hand, Texas is known for being a conservative state that opposes big government interventions. That's why Texas has one of the most regressive tax systems in the country, with no income tax but high sales and property taxes that burden low-income households more than high-income households. Different historical legacies and traditions. Every state has its unique history and identity, which influence tax policy decisions. A lot of states, for instance, have been impacted by colonial periods, the Civil War, the Great Depression, and other key events in their history. Several states have inherited or adopted certain tax practices from other states or countries over time. Depending on how they relate to their past and present circumstances, states may choose to maintain or change their tax systems. To give you an idea, New Hampshire has a long tradition of fiscal conservatism and resistance to taxation dating back to the American Revolution. 
That's why New Hampshire is one of the nine states that does not levy any income tax on its residents. On the other hand, Maryland has a history of progressive taxation and social welfare dating back to the New Deal era. That's why Maryland is one of the few states that imposes both an income tax and a local income tax on its residents. Different legal constraints and administrative costs. Each state has its own legal system and bureaucracy that shape its tax policy choices and outcomes. For instance, several states have rules that limit how much they can tax or spend. Some states have more or less efficient and transparent tax administration and enforcement. Depending on how they deal with these legal and administrative challenges, states may choose to make their tax systems easier or harder for taxpayers. In particular, Colorado has a rule called the Taxpayer Bill of Rights, TABOR, which keeps state revenue and spending from growing too fast. That's why Colorado has one of the easiest and lowest income tax systems in the country, with a single rate for everyone. On the other hand, New York has a complicated and expensive tax administration system, which takes a lot of time and money to collect and check taxes. That's why New York has one of the highest and most difficult income tax systems in the country, with many brackets and rates for different incomes. Examples of state tax variation. To give you some examples of how taxes vary from state to state, Let's look at income tax rates, sales tax rates, and property tax rates. Income tax rates range from 0% in Texas to 13.3% in California. Sales tax rates range from 0% in Oregon to 9.55% in Tennessee. Property tax rates range from 0.28% in Hawaii to 2.38% in New Jersey. Of course, these numbers are only averages and do not reflect the actual tax burden for each individual or business in each state. To get a more accurate picture of how much you pay in taxes in your state, you need to consider your specific situation and factors that affect your taxable income. As you can see, there are many factors that explain why taxes are different across the USA. This means that depending on where you live, work, or do business in the country, you may face various tax obligations and benefits at the state level. Also, state taxes are an important and complex topic that affects everyone who lives or works in the U.S., so it's good to be informed and aware of them. But did you know that not everyone pays their fair share of taxes, especially some big corporations that use various strategies to avoid their tax liabilities? How do they do it? Click here to find out.